Hi there! Welcome to Whiskey Ski. My name is Yuma. This channel mainly focuses on Japanese whiskeys, introducing tastes, stories, and relating information from a Japanese perspective. Today, I'm going to be talking about Suntory Royal. Royal is a blended whiskey, which is a regular lineup of Suntory's whiskeys. This is one of the whiskeys I love the most, and for me, this is my daily whiskey. I'll be going through its story, basic information, and also be sharing the taste. So let's dive in. Suntory Royal was released back in 1960, celebrating Suntory's 60th anniversary. Royal was created by Shinjiro Torii, founder and first master blender of Suntory. It is often called as his last and best masterpiece. The bottle has a unique shape, but it was designed to represent the kanji tori, which is the right component of the kanji sake, which means alcohol. This kanji tori itself also has the meaning of an alcohol container. Also, this cork cap shape is unique with a slight curve, but this was designed to represent the entrance gate of Shio Shrine, which is located in the back of the Yamazaki distillery. This entrance gate is called Torii in Japanese, same as Shinjiro's last name. It is said that Shinjiro imaged the cherry blossoms flurry around the Shio Shrine when blending the whiskey and came up with this golden ratio, which is described as the perfect blend that Japanese people feel delicious. So now, let's dig into this bottle. This Suntory Royal is the current version. There were several versions in the past, and the taste has been changing, so let me talk about that in a different video and do some comparison. This is a blended whiskey from Suntory. It's in their regular lineup, and it's not rare at all, so it's not difficult to find. I got this one at a local liquor shop, but you can also find it at a supermarket. There are two types, the original bottle and the slim bottle. The original bottle contains 700 milliliters and the slim bottle contains 660 milliliters. It is said that this slim bottle was created mainly for bars because the original bottle has a unique shape and it takes up the shelf space. The retail prices are 4,290 Japanese yen for the original bottle and 3,729 Japanese yen for the slim bottle. It is 43% ABV, just the same as Yamazaki, Hakushu, and Hibiki and it has no age statements. In the past, there were 12 years and 15 years age statements, but the current one does not have any age statements. The current back label does not have any description regarding what is blended, but the previous label says it is using punch and barrel Yamazaki and bamboo charcoal mellowed hakushu as a key mold. Now let's try it out and see how it tastes. Now, the tasting. As highball is a major way to drink whiskeys in Japan, I will first drink it neat and then drink it as a highball. Let me talk about the drinking cultures in Japan in another video. Now let's get some of it poured. As you can see, the color is not light and it has a nice brownish color. Let me smell. Yeah, the smell is thick. I see some vanilla and uh, ripe fruits, uh, banana, apple, and also raisin. I see some caramel, cinnamon, and chocolate. I also feel some alcohol, I'm assuming, coming from this young spirits. But yeah, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, so now let me taste. You first feel the sweetness in your mouth and then some alcohol tingling on your tongue and upper jaw. And uh, I see some raisin in the taste, which I also felt in the smell. Yeah, and towards the end, I feel some bourbon cask characteristics and I feel the oak remaining in my mouth after swallowing. But when you imagine Hibiki, another blended whiskey from Suntory, 
being sold at 6,000 yen at retail price. I feel that this is doing a great job and I will go for this rather than running through the store and finding for a Hibiki. Now let's try some highball. Okay, so here I have the Suntory Royal Highball. Okay, so for the smell, even with soda, the smell is not weak and I feel it has a very uh, fruity smell. Yeah, the taste is rather round and I feel the sweetness filling up my mouth. Followed by some uh, sherry flavor and I think the aftertaste does not last so long. Um, so the sweetness does not remain in your mouth. Overall, the taste is not too strong, so I think it doesn't interfere with the Japanese food taste, which is usually described as being delicate. I think it also goes well with some oily dishes, and it's a great choice for drinking while eating. So today, I have introduced Santori Royal, its story, its basic information, and its taste. If you have a chance to visit Japan, give it a try and let me know how it was. If you have already tried Royal, also let me know how it was in the comment. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give a like, leave a comment down below, and also subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Bye.